we're going to break down the beautiful show Arcane with its amazing 3D style and 2D map paintings and awesome rendering and beautiful storytelling too, but we're going to go deep in the storytelling on the podcast and great job for Tane. Is that, is that how you would say it? For, I believe it's um Fortiche. They did a fantastic job. Incredible work. Let's go. Welcome back to As Art with Nick and Kyle. Okay, we're going to dive into this arcane show, which is super beautiful with the visuals and stuff. Me and Kyle are going to go into a lot of story elements and story plots in, in the podcast. So go over to either Spotify or Apple or visit asart.space to get the links. All right, Kyle. Visually, this show was stunning, beautiful. Like, I was so shocked while watching this. I was just like, I don't think there's been an American animated series this good in a long time like we always praise like anime and other countries for doing beautiful work and stuff but this was so good right right i would uh i would have to agree so like uh i think it's because it's a french um, studio that worked on it <laughs> uh, you know i would be willing to argue that point yeah because the french the french animation scene yeah. has been pretty on point for a long time now yes. um so uh yeah and 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 also like I don't know like I feel that um with uh with American animation mm. even if we go back to like the 80s right so like remember like Silverhawks and Thundercats and like <laughs> yeah. even 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 Disney's Gummy Bears right like uh-huh. so so the all the animation budget was spent on the intro mm. right and then like during the episodes the animation pew, like went down in quality <laughs> Just because, just because, you know, that's, you know, they already spent all the money on their killer yeah. opening sequence and they have to save, you know, they have a budget. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that and they all works. Action shows, though. They were kind of like episodic shows, right? They weren't like action packed. Like when it comes to American action packed shows, like what, yeah. what, what would come to mind other than like the one that's coming to mind when I'm thinking of, and, and I know it's a kid's show, but it's super beautiful is Avatar The Last Airbender. Yes. Because like they would do amazing backgrounds. Every every episode was almost taking place in a different location in that show too, because yep. they were traveling. So they were constantly designing new backgrounds and new characters and stuff. This show doesn't do that. I mean, it you do see a lot of a, a lot of new stuff, but it kind of takes place in like level one and level level two. Like, you know, there's like two different like right. where it takes place with the styles and stuff. But beautiful. The detail yeah. In the backgrounds, amazing. The the ones that are modeled in 3D, incredible. The matte paintings, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I want like yeah. one of them framed and like put on my wall. It was just so good. It was so good. Yeah, you, you it, it's in, it's interesting. Could, does it make sense that it's like? I feel that I could tell a gaming studio helped make this mm. series right because like there is a especially with like production art and yeah. like a lot of like. Like that looked like something out of like a like a concept art book or something, yes. right? Like just like this whole the whole look to it was just my god, like a, a visual candy store, you know. Yes. And I don't know anything about League of Legends. I've never played it, but isn't it a top down game? It's like I mean, have you ever like played Dota or Han or anything no. like that? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks, buckle up. No. Uh, no. So, but basically, so yeah. vi- visually though. It's right. like yeah, it's like a three quarter view, top down kind of so thing. And you this have is a hero because cool it's like a different perspective completely than what they're used to doing. Exactly, and that's the thing. I'm not exactly sure how much they they borrowed from the from the LOL universe. Mm. I don't even think. I'm not sure if they really did. They just well, kind of you know, made their own story and just used the characters. <laughs> oh yeah, as the throughput. Mm. You know. So that's gonna be cool. We're gonna talk a lot about that on the podcast here. But one thing I wanted to talk about: Were you a fan of? the animation in the show because like visually it was stunning and stuff were you a fan of the animation like weight timing did it take you out at all in the story did it work for you did it did it sync up well with the voice actors like all that stuff you know going into it were you were you happy nick i was i was rock hard the entire time no (laughs) no um, no i uh it was it was no i thought it was great so so the thing is is that like I pay attention to the nuances of movement a lot in animation yes. mm-hmm. just because I had to do a lot of that in, in art school and stuff. Yes, and we know. We yeah. Know. yeah. <laughs> so like, <laughs> so it's, I don't know, like, like their, their sense of movement and weight and stuff was like, excellent. it's interesting. It's like, 
it wasn't traditional though. It was more accentuated, mm-hmm. right? And like that was really cool because yeah. it felt it's a thing. It didn't try to be realistic. It tried to be animated. Yes. Right. Which in is in its own world which is and style. In its own world and style. And it was amazing. You and know? you know what's so funny you brought that up? Me and John have been going through the Matrix VFX. And we okay. just finished the the third one. And we're like, I'm just like, you know. There's a lot of 3D. The whole fight sequence is like 3D and the punching and stuff. Like, it's beautiful. What they did at the time, too, was amazing, but it doesn't fit in the world for me. Like, it just, the way the camera angles, it just didn't work. And then after watching this show, I'm like, if the Matrix was like fully animated like this and it was super stylized and stuff, it would have been so sick. And I know there's animated version of the Matrix and I know there's game stuff like that, but like, <laughs> animation is so much better than live action. <laughs> Can I, is that, is that weird to say? Like, I, I just, I think. You heard it here first, <laughs> folks. <laughs> but like, you can do so much more. Like, you're not bound by restrictions and camera movements. Like, there's some amazing camera. The framing in this is beautiful. There's some beautiful frame shots in this. And he's just like, like, you've got this like top down cameras, like, you know, slowly tracking in and everything. And it's just so cool because it's shots you would not get realistically. Well, maybe yeah. now Wes Anderson's kind of doing those cool like <laughs> shots, but still it's nothing like what we're getting in this. So show. I would, I would say that like um, you get all of the, um, the emotion mm. out of what you would get out of a live action sort of piece. Yes. Because it, I mean this, this, uh, this series uh, tackles adult themes, right? Mm-hmm. Death and loss. Um, I think, yeah, romance and stuff in, like that. In a that. very extreme way, too. Yeah, yeah. Which is awesome because you don't see that too often. Right. Well, I mean, like, yeah, it's... Wait, could you explain that a little bit more? <laughs> like like, like the, the pain um, blue hair girl, her name is... Not Jinx, what's her name before? No, the blue hair... Oh, Powder. Powder, Powder. Her, her story arc and, like, things she had to go through... Mm-hmm. emotionally and stuff it was very extreme you know I, I but it was you don't see that too often maybe you do an anime but i'm I'm trying to stick to american and sure. animation here american movies here because obviously anime is its own genre and they do amazing work there for the anime mm-hmm. and stuff like that but yeah. when it comes to america I, I was very impressed the character arcs and emotional the emotional roller coaster these characters went through yeah so i mean like it's it's so interesting because the circumstances for their grief and their trauma yeah. are very extreme, right? Yeah. Almost to the point to where, like, I think very few people, um, unless unless you're a refugee from a war torn mm. country, um, can uh, can relate to, yeah. right? But at the same time, you know, like we've all lost loved ones, yeah. right? So so that's kind of like the the common connection that we get there, and it, mm. you know, it, I think it I think it hits. Yeah. Um, there are some things that I do have issues with, but I don't know if we're getting into that. <laughs> no, we'll do that in the in podcast. Episode? We'll keep it vi- okay. unless right. it's visually. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But um, I I brought up that point because I really like the way the animation was with the uh, extreme emotions. Like mm-hmm. when she's crying and it's just like uncontrollable, like you know, like tears and coughing and you know, you know, it's just like this real emotion, which is was very extreme. And I thought, it, it, I thought it came off well with the animation. Actually, like I thought so they did a great, great job. The uh, um, the sequence in particular uh, where Powder, um, I I guess the best way to say it is having her first mental break mm-hmm. uh, when she's a kid, like before, basically when Vi leaves her, tells her to stay behind, right? Yeah, and that punch, um, great animation with the weight in the time when she he, punches, I was like. Oh crap! That, right. that was that was so, that was a good punch. <laughs> so so when Powder is like kind of losing her mind, um, it it really hits because of how she um how she kind of goes from being crouched up to immediately lashing out and yelling. Right, mm-hmm. like that's like that. Uh, there's something. There's some nuance in that movement, in that abrupt movement that made me go like, whoa! Like kind of yeah. like mentally take a step back. Um, and that was like it was really it was really good, really great performance. Yeah. The action was incredible. Mm-hmm. I was very impressed with the action. Um, I was also very impressed with the visuals of how they were doing magic too. I'm not a big fan of magic. Like in like I, I started to try to watch a new show on Amazon called Wheel Time. I'm not a fan of the way they do magic in that show at all. Whoa, whoa, like, Nick. Uh, uh, um, uh, you know what? Let's edit that out. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I was just like, because magic could come across so <clears throat> cheesy and corny. Yeah. And I just love the way. Obviously, we didn't see too much magic at all in this 
but I love the we way- did not we did not get any Deus Ex mo- uh, magic. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's just true. But it, I love the way like the symbols came up and like how they. I just I was just like, oh, I'm I'm digging this style. I was digging that. I was digging the way the mm-hmm. ships were teleporting and the designs and and I really enjoyed the the character designs. Even even the the, the little guy, I really enjoyed his character too a lot. Heimer Dinger. Like, yeah, I just I really <laughs> yeah. enjoyed the designs and I, I'm. Yeah. I'm actually excited because I think there's talk about them doing other lands as different shows. Oh yeah, like, like I, that, I totally, so. I totally want to see Noxus. I want to see what what these people are all about. I want to know who like the dark, tall goblin people are from. Mm-hmm. I also like also the clock lady, the clock neck lady. Where the fuck does she come from? Like I want to know more <laughs> about her. Like is she is she like a clockwork person? Yeah. Like what's going yeah, on? Yeah, so it's, you know we can't praise it enough. It sounds like we both yeah. really enjoyed it. And we'd love to see it. more from the <laughs> studio. I would yeah. love to see more Netflix. Open up your wallets, throw some money at the studio because it's great work. I would love to see more of this. And yeah. and also not not the same style, but I would love to see more experiments with animation shows on Netflix too. Like I do like Castlevania. It's not as high quality as this show, but I like the style <laughs> that it's in. <laughs> it's so weird because before <laughs> Arcane Castlevania was pretty high quality, right? Yeah. And then Arcane came and it's like, well, everything else is just garbage well, now. You like, know, okay, so Castlevania no, reminds no. me of like a DC animated movie when it comes to like yeah. the quality. Well, I, it's better, but like in my head, like that's what, uh, you know what? You know what I'm talking about? No, though? Oh, no, okay. I do. Okay, I, okay, uh, yeah, right. No, I, I do. It's I'll beautiful and I love it and I want more of that show too, but I'm, yeah. that's like where I had it like in my mind. And I also okay. like it too because it's not like, the the animation's done so well, it doesn't feel like stiff 3D anime 3D. Because right. you know, sometimes when you have like the big mechanical stuff, it just it seems too fluid and you right. like, like they just have like do do the key key frames and the computer kind of does the all yeah. the other you know it's so I I'm I'm just you guys, as you guys can tell, I just love this show. I want to see more of it. And yeah, I I think that's where we ended at this point, right? If you guys haven't yep. seen it, please go over to netflix and watch it we didn't drop any spoilers on this thank goodness we didn't drop any spoilers on this and um we probably will on the podcast but if you already watch the show and you want to hear fun theories and fun little things and going to maybe things that didn't work and things that did work really well we're gonna dive into it at the podcast uh Nick, i just yeah you just that's a great point we didn't even have to say spoiler alert and we didn't even <laughs> reveal any spoilers first time well, this is the first time we, we are we've on done that. point wow. <laughs> So head over to azart.space for all the audio video links. Check out Kyle's awesome Instagram account, uh, Pecos with a zero, right? Uh, let me check. Picos with a zero. Yeah. Pecos? <laughs> Picos? <laughs> yes. Go there. He has amazing artwork. A very, very, very talented artist. If you like the artwork from Arcane, you might enjoy some of his artwork on his on his Instagram account. Beautiful artwork. So yeah, we'll see you on the next Azart. <laughs>